Hello everybody, it's Jack. Welcome back to another video. And in this one, I wanted to discuss basically how you can succeed in pilot versus pilot. Uh, dominate, as a matter of fact, because once I started applying these little things, it, it literally made the difference for me from every game on out. I mean, I captured a lot of gameplay from, from this tech data and a lot more gameplay than I know what to do with, to be honest. So I'm using this one and... And uh, the thing that I want to say is, first of all, some of you guys might be wondering, well, well, Jack, why are you making this video? The, the tech test just ended. It's like, yes, it just ended, but again, the game comes out in eight weeks, and the core gameplay elements that are in the tech test are still going to be in the final game. They're just going to be tuned and fine-tuned, so to speak. Uh, kind of think of this as the, uh, even though this is a pre-alpha, just think of this as the Black Ops 3 beta. Uh, the game came out like two and a half months later, and... You know, even though there were differences like, you know, weapon balancing, nerfs and buffs and stuff like that, the core of what the game was in the in the beta is still part of the final game. So therefore, I decided to make this video and if I could have, I would have made it even earlier so that way you guys can apply this during the tech test. But it's been one of those days and I uh, wasn't able to get it out in time. And, and another thing, quite frankly, that another reason why I wasn't able to get it out is because... Uh, I just had a hell of a lot of fun playing it this weekend, honestly. I put in uh, ridiculous hours in this weekend in playing this tech test. It was, just, it was just so much fun. As a matter of fact, I even tweeted out at Vince Ampella, and I asked him if we could extend it by 24 hours. And, you know, he said, unfortunately not. I mean, God knows what they had to do to basically make this happen. And, and with that being said, I'm, I'm really grateful for it because I was generally surprised by this game and how much fun I had with it. And, uh... Uh, before I go on to tell you guys what you need to do to dominate this mode and the other pilot versus pilot modes, I guess, when it when the game comes out, is basically uh, Titanfall 2 as well as Call of Duty, uh, Infinite Warfare as well as COD 4 Remastered. All three of those games will be featured on the channel this year, so it's uh, something I'm stoked about. It's really nice to have a little bit of variety on the channel and something that's fun, fun to watch. So just wanted to get that out there real quick before I got this out of the way. And uh, without further ado, here we go. And thank you for listening because I know I've been kind of rambling, but... Here we go. First and foremost, the first thing you want to do in this game, above all else, I don't care how good you are, I don't care what your gun skill is or whatever, you need to avoid the sonar grenades like the plague. I kid you not. If you find yourself glowing and if there, there are letters in the middle of your screen that basically says sonar detected, you need to basically back the hell out of there and do not engage. Because even if you are to take somebody down, Somebody else from God knows where is going to know exactly where you are and they're going to finish you off. It's a guarantee. There's no two ways about it. There's no there's no avoiding it. <clears throat> Quite frankly, there is no avoiding it. So, avoid the sonar. Why? In case you guys don't know, if somebody tags you with that thing, if you trip it and if and if they're if you're tagged with it, the entire enemy team can see you and they can see you from no matter where they are and they can see you through walls as well. And uh, that actually can be used to your advantage if you avoid it as well. You, you'll be able to flank, and people that are holding still are gonna they're gonna be able to basically get shot before they know what the hell's going on. So it, <clears throat> avoiding that basically opens up the doors for everything else in this game for you. And at the same time, having something like the sonar grenade in the game actually keeps people moving. Actually, believe it or not, it's one of the things that keeps people moving. So. With that being said, that is the most important thing. And I know it's the most basic thing, but uh, trust me. Trust me when I tell you. It made the difference from game one since I started, you know, really paying attention to it. Because I really didn't care in the first weekend that I played the game. I just ran around and let that thing tag me and I was getting shot from all over the place. Uh, granted, I was having fun, but I wasn't able to do anything more than, you know, barely go positive no matter what I tried. So... This definitely made the difference for me. Now, another thing that I want to discuss that is extremely, extremely important as well is the fact that the minimap is extremely user-friendly. Now, they did this on purpose because, again, they want everybody to move. They want, they want to know, they want everybody to have awareness of what's going on because, let's face it, these maps are big. It's uh, 8v8. People can be anywhere. And you got to have control to all this. You have to have some level of control. And they've provided it by making the map, minimap super accessible. You'll be able to tell where engagements are happening. Somebody fires a gun, you're going to be able to see them. And it really makes the difference. And if you use the minimap and if you pay attention to it, uh, it'll help you basically where to go. And you'll be able to create your create your own flanking routes. And I guess, uh, and again, these, these maps are not like Call of Duty maps. They're not like 
your traditional three lane maps or whatnot. These are these are a lot more. Uh, how do you say? Uh, they're open. They're like how do you put this? They're like um, th this again. Let's let's put it this way. This is not meant to be a competitive shooter. This is a uh, this is basically a pub game through and through, which is a good thing. It's, it's a lot of fun, and the thing is, the maps are designed that way, and they're also designed for for uh, Titans in mind. But because they've also had pilots versus pilots in mind, they managed to balance it out basically so you can if you learn how to move the map correctly and use the environment to your advantage while you move and you know not being detected through the sonar pulse and, and doing your flanking routes correctly and, and using everything you've learned about first person shooters since day one that you've been playing it's gonna work out well for you and when people try to do something they're gonna make mistakes and you're gonna be able to take them out it's that simple it really is basics I mean this is a first person shooter so uh, all the knowledge you've learned from previous games regardless of what kind of game it is it's, Basically, it will work out for you. You just apply your basic knowledge and it will work out. I promise Now another thing that I wanted to discuss is amped weapons Use amped weapons. They will defend you when people are basically trying to rush you because you'll be able to drop them even quicker If you see a camper across the, the map literally across the map Just make sure you're in a safe place burst fire them and take them out. They will drop really really quick Amped weapons is basically like stopping power to the nth degree. I cannot explain. I mean, look, look at that. You're going to see a lot of, look, watch what happens here. Just watch. There's like three bullets left in my clip and I take one dude out. Watch. I take this person out. Now watch what happens here. Watch. Bam. See, look at that. Because I was amped and I still, ha I still had some amp power in my gun. Do not underestimate that ability whatsoever. And if you want to go on major tears, it's something that's definitely going to help you out. And again, used for offensive and defensive purposes. See, look at that. I'm, I'm sonar detected. I get the heck out of there and I go around. One guy tries to flank me, take him out. See, this one other guy too, wham bam, take them out. And if I was still detected, I guarantee you I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't have been able to do anything because everybody and anybody can see me. And I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are pretty much wondering, well, how does he know I'm there? How in the world am I getting shot from this angle, from all the way over there? Simple, sonar. So avoid that, avoid bullshit. Simple as that. All right, let's talk about one other thing. And that is campers are not as much of a problem as you think they are, really. You do all these things that I've discussed, campers are actually easy targets. I kid you not. You just watch out for the Kraber users, the guys that are using sniper rifles. Watch out for them because they're, if anybody's using a Kraber, they're, uh, they're a good shot. So, And uh, LMGs as well. See, like this guy right here just melted me. And I was not in a good place and he managed to see me. So uh, beware of that, you know. And uh, Things do happen in the game, but again, if you do all everything else correctly, follow these basic things, you're going to dominate a hell of a lot more. And uh, with that being said, weapons are extremely powerful. I've been using the submachine gun, the car, and the R210, uh, I believe it is, for the assault rifle in this game. And uh, they melt. And I've noticed that shotguns melt at all, uh, as well. Snipers, LMGs, I mean, everything melts in this game. It's all dependent on how fast you want to move and how your play style is. So if you're a little bit more defensive, you might want to go LMG and um, sniper. If you're more offensive, go assault rifle and... Uh, some machine gun or shotgun. Shotguns melt as well, even one burst from, even one shot from a distance. So with that being said, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh, I, like I said, I know the gameplay, I know that the tech test is pretty much finished now, but the, go the core gameplay of what it is is going to be in the release. You'll see. Uh, things are just going to be modified and tweaked for the better. So uh, the game comes out in a total of eight weeks, and I for one am excited. I'm excited to give you gameplay from Titanfall. Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare, as well as COD 4 Remastered. So, uh, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. If you liked it, let me know. And if you don't, let me know what I can do to make my videos better. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.